<laughs> All right, uh, we're now moving on to percentage calculations, and there's quite a few different types of questions. So the first two exercises were simple. Converting from a number to a percentage, we times by 100. And converting a percentage into uh, a number, we divided by 100. Now, we are finding 20 as a percent of 80. What that means is, let's say you have um, a test. And the total number of marks the test has is out of her 80. And someone got 20 out of 80. So first, we need to write it as a fraction. So you always write it over the original amount. So what did you have the total? 80. What fraction of marks did you score? 20. So does that make sense? The fraction, you got 20 out of 80? You've got the fraction right. Now you need to convert it as a percent. So converting a fraction to a percent is times by 100. Is that right? Now, can I divide these two by 10? 2 and 8, can they be divided by 4 or 2? 2 goes into itself once, into 8, 4 times. Now, 104, can they be divided by 4? Yes? So 4 goes into itself once. So that means it's 25 quite. Unless you have a question, please listen. So as soon as we times it by 100, we put the percent sign. Clear? So 72 marks out of 90. So what fraction did you get? 72 over 90. And then to convert that fraction into a percentage, we times by 100. As soon as you times by 100, you put the percent sign. Dividing both top and bottom by 10. So you get rid of each zero. 72 and 9 are both divisible by 9. nine. nine. So 9 divided by itself is 1. 72 divided by 9 is 8. 8, eight times 10 is 80. 80%. 80%. That's how I calculate your test percentages. What was what you got? What was the total? Times it by 100. Okay? Now, 50 grams out of 4 kilos. Can you compare two quantities that are not in the same units? No, you can't. So you have to choose which unit you're going to stick to. You either convert four into four kilos into grams, or you convert 50 grams into kilos. I'll convert kilos into grams because I don't want decimals. Does that make sense? So four kilos is how many grams? Four thousand grams. So what fraction do we have? We have 50 out of 4,000. We've got the fraction, now we times it by 100 and put a percentage sign, eyes on the board. So, <coughs> divide these two by 100, we can cancel those zeros. Divide these two by 10, right? What do we get? 5 over 4 percent. And do not use decimals unless the test says. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Nine months out of three years. So, no, they're different units. Three years is how many months? One month is one year is four months. Three years is? So, nine months out of 36 months, that's a fraction. We times it by 100 to get a percentage. 9 and 36, they're both divisible by 9? No. no. And then 100 over 4 is? 25. Happy? Yes. Now, finding a percentage of an amount. 10% of 840. First of all, converting the percentage into a fraction. If I want to get rid of the percentage sign, I need to divide it by 100. So can 10% be written as 10 over 100? Yes. So I've got rid of the percent sign. Now, off. Off means times. So get rid of the percent sign by putting it over 100. Replace the off by times. And then that's your answer. That will be 10% of 840. Now, simplifying. Can we divide both of these by 10? Yes. Can we divide these by 10? Yes. What are we left with? 1 times 84? 84. So look again. We're finding six 
percent of 140. First of all, convert 6 percent into a fraction. 6 over 8? 100. Off, replace the off by? Times. And now simplify. Dividing by 10? What's 16 times 5? Uh, 10 and 15 are both divisible by? 5. 5. 5 goes into 10 2 times, 15 3 times. 2 and 6 can be divided by 2. What are you left with? 9. Make sense? Now, the last two questions are completely different and they're calculator allowed. So pay attention. You're increasing $3,700 by 20%. For example, let's say you know something was marked for $3,700. Now they're going to mark it up because of something. Now, so you're increasing. That means if the original price was 100%, you're paying 20% more. So how much are you paying now? 120%. So that means you were, you are, you can find 120% off 3,700. Because the original price is $3,700, but that's the 100%, right? You are paying 20% more. So you have to find 120%. That's how you increase something. <coughs> so add whatever increase you are to 100 and find that amount. Okay? Now, how do we find 120% off something? So 120% means over 100. Off means times, times 3,700. In your calculators now, get the fraction. 120 over 100 times it by 3,700. I need the answer. Quick. In your calculators now. What's that? 1,440. Is that correct? Yeah. That's it. Calculate it out. You must have a dollar sign because it was given to you its dollars. Calculate it out as before. So when you increase something by percentage, add that percentage to 100 and then find that amount. Now, you're decreasing something. So, decreasing by 5%. So, take it away from 100 first. What's 100 minus 5? That means now you're left with 95% of the original amount. So increasing, you add 200. Decreasing, you take away that percentage from 100. So 95%, that means 95 over 100. Off means times. Any calculators, give me the answer, please. What's that? And you must put the unit. 114 kilos, right? So that covers two A, B, and C, and we'll give get lots of working time in class to actually work on the questions. Happy? Yeah. You can all